All right, today's video is regarding HP Invoice 7155 printer how to set up with Mac now there are two methods to do first is Wi-Fi direct setup which is the built-in Wi-Fi network of your printer and second is using the Wi-Fi setup of your home or office now the first I'm going to start with the Wi-Fi direct setup using printers Wi-Fi and the first step is to switch on the printer so press the power button on and go on the display screen so here you will see there is a top var on this screen so just scroll it down and now click on the setting and now look for the Wi-Fi direct and now switch on and click yes now it will be turning on soon now you you can see the option connection method click on the connection method there are two ways automatic and manual and you can select any one you want but I recommend to use the manual one because that is more secure and it has a unique password now press the home button and scroll down the top bar again now look for the Wi-Fi direct icon and click on that and here the password is displayed as you can see if you want you can print it or you can write down on a paper or and then press OK and then we go on the home button we have to go to the macbook now open the wi-fi as you can see on the top and now select the printer's name that is hp in y photo 7100 series now enter that password uh, as you have printed or written and click on join and just double check again like if it is connected or not so click on the Wi-Fi yes it is connected and now we go on the system preferences and here we open the printer and scanner just click there and we need to add this printer and to add this printer we need to click on the plus button at the bottom and you will see the name of the printer is displayed click on that and now you will see it's gathering a printer information and now we can click add so this will take just few seconds and your printer will be added now we can use this printer to print and scan for example I'm going to show you how to use it for the scanning so uh, just click on the scan and click open scanner so I have already placed a page for the scanning and now we can see that page is coming up here so you can see so it has started to do the wireless scanning so that's the first method we can do and now I'm going to show you the second method so again we have to go to the printer now we are using the homes or office Wi-Fi so again go to the setting from the top bar and in the setting section we will look for the network setup click on network setup and then you will see the wireless setting and in that wireless setup wizard so click on that now it's searching for the available wireless routers in your home or office and once we get a list we will select the one we want to use so here we can see the list and I'm going to select the one I'm going to use so that's my home's Wi-Fi and now we have to enter the password and just click OK once you enter the password and wait for the confirmation so you will see the blue light has stopped blinking and it says the wireless is on now go to your macbook now again open the wi-fi network and select your same network you have connected to the printer if it asks a password enter the password of your home wi-fi network and just double check so click again on the wi-fi network and check if it is already connected or not so it's connected now now go to the system preferences so click on and now click on the printers and scanners now we need to add this printer again 
so click on plus button add printer or scanner and you will see the name of the printer again so click it add so just wait for it to update and now add it so again it will take few seconds and it will be added in your macbook once it is added again it's ready to use for the print and scan and uh, i'll show you how to do the scan again so you can see here once you open the scanner and again it's going to show like it's working again so that this these are the two easy methods you can use so it depends if you have a home wi-fi network or if you want to add on the network or not but you can use the printer's wi-fi direct thanks for watching